We're going to try and use this as a light balance, or light bounce. It's a table. Is that too strong on me now? We get that focus in. Come on, focus. There we go. That might might be a little bit bright. Um, one more second. I think we're just gonna go ahead and run with the lights like this. Kind of like the vibe we got going. So uh, let's just jump into it. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of a, the uh, Huan, Huan, Hu, uh, it's in Korean, I, well, it's in English characters, but it's a Korean brand, so probably mispronouncing it, um, but the Huan LED light pad. Uh, so this is not a sponsored video, I got this for free, sort of. Um, I didn't go out and buy it myself, but it was bought for me um, as sort of a kind of a payment for something I'm doing. Uh, but we're going to kind of unbox it and then give some sort of interpretations, um, some experience. I've used a, I've used one of these before um, for studio work, and I've, I've used it enough to kind of know what I think about it, I think. But we're going to show you what comes in the box and all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing just to start this off. All right, so we've got the box here. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it. It doesn't take much. You got on the bottom here, you just got two tabs. It does get a little bit tight at times. Uh, take those tabs, and those tabs are actually in tabs themselves, so you it's got a double tabbing mechanism. Not all that much to impress. This is not being marketed as a super premium product, um, from my understanding. But there's a nice little card here. It says, thank you for choosing Huiwan. Hu like I said, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, but it's got a little barcode uh, for their Facebook page. It says, it's kind of a or email address and stuff for services and it just says thank you so it's a nice little kind of printout thing nice of them to provide got a pad here just for shipping here we've got a uh, manual because this is such a complex uh, user interface here we've got the power supply which is taped on one side and then on the other side it's just A simple or sort of like coaxial. I'm gonna bring that, bring that a little closer so you can kind of see that. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but uh, so we've got it's reasonable length. Uh, nothing too crazy from that. Inside we do have nice little corner pads. Do appreciate good packaging in that sort of situation. You know, I like my stuff arriving in good condition, not banged up. So again, it is kind of large which is really nice when you're trying to work on like a, say 11 by 17 paper, something like that. Pull it out and you just have a black border and a clear white acrylic top. So nothing crazy, but this is really nice because when you're not using it as an illumination table, it's just plain white. Inside we do also have a metal clip. I'll bring that again. I'll bring that kind of closer so we can kind of see. I don't know if it's going to focus. Um, I'll try and get a better picture of this to show you guys. But, uh, excuse me. Um, so, like I said, just this little clip, nothing too crazy. But what this does is if you did want to use this sort of like a wall mount or something, you can, or even on the table, just going to put it on there and then you can slide papers. Um, We'll just slide this up in here for now. There, see now it kind of holds it up. So that's nice to have. Probably not going to use it all that much, but... So here's that. Uh, like I said, it's centimeters, it's 0 to 31. 
zero to 43. Here's the power button. Uh, it's just a capacitive thing, so just touch it. You got some nice pads on the bottom. I'll show you uh, how bright it gets here in a second. And I'm actually gonna do this twice. Once I'll do this with the lights on, and then once I'll do it with the lights off, just so you can kind of get a different idea for it. So here I've got the table. I'm gonna kind of tilt it at the camera, and I'm just gonna hold my hand on here. So it does get a little bit of illumination along the sides here, as you can see from the edge, uh, this, and then the top is nice and bright. So now if I hold it, it'll again, it'll keep getting brighter. And then one last time, it'll start getting darker. So it, brights, it brightens up until it gets to the maximum brightness, and then it slowly gets lower uh, after that. So here's still going down. Back up and down. On the ground, up and down. So it doesn't seem like it's going all the way off. I'll try this again. Oh, so if you hold it, it just changes brightness, but if you tap it, it'll turn all the way off. So on, off, holding it, and then holding it, I can change the brightness. So here I'll lower it, turn it off, turn it on. So it does remember the brightness setting that you had it on at when you turn it off and on. So here I'll turn it back on maximum brightness. And I'll turn it off and I'll turn on turn all the lights off in the apartment. So we'll turn it off. Alright, so here we've turned off the uh, primary lighting. We've still got a little bit of mood lighting just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I don't have, I'm not having pro any problems right now. I'm not having any problems seeing, uh, but you can see on the camera that it's rather dark. Here I'll turn it on pretty bright. Turn it off. Go through the uh, sort of brightness settings. Just going down. So this is the dimmest it can get. And then the brightest it'll get. So I hope that's helpful if you're looking for an adjustable light table. Uh, gonna go ahead and from here I'll kind of tell you what I think of it. All right, so overall, I'm a pretty big fan of this. Uh, it's one of the, if not the best light table, light pad that I've ever used. Um, I really like the capacitive button, although there have been a couple times when I'm kind of not paying attention and I put my palm up on that side after I've kind of spun it, spun it around. It turns off, but it turns on fast enough that it's not an issue. It's a big advantage from the LEDs is that I don't have to worry about waiting for a bulb to warm up or anything like that. Uh, beyond that, it's a good size. It's nice and thin, so you don't have to worry about it taking up too much desk space. Uh, I know a lot of people that use it, and they'll just leave it on their desk whether or not they're using it. Like It's just kind of there, and they'll use it as a work surface. It's got a good surface for if you're using paper on top of it to just do general sketching. It's nice and smooth, so you don't have to worry about just doing using it for tracing. Um, I've seen, like on the box, it does have the thing where it says can be used for like x-rays and stuff, but I think 99% of the time it's just gonna be used as like a tracing table, sort of a light pad, sort of seeing through this, to kind of get some translucency some in uh, papers. Um, but I mean, it's, it's a simple product, but it works well and it does what you want it to do. So that's the most important thing. Um, I do like the uh, measurements. They are in centimeters. Um, don't have any inch measurements on there, but it kind of just, you know, if you're in a situation where you're trying to tape down your what you're working on and you're trying to do out technically like measurements, that's it can be helpful to have some sort of uh, increments there. Um, 
I've had, I've, so one thing I've experienced that I actually kind of like is that depending on what you're using material wise and how fast you're moving around and all, there are times when it'll kind of get a static sort of cling to it, which is actually pretty beneficial when you're trying to get the uh, papers nice and smooth. I've used a lot of light tables where the papers are kind of loose and you have to kind of push down to get the light to go through all the way. But when you have do have that sort of static cling uh, on the surface, it just keeps it nice and smooth and you don't have to worry about that and you see through a lot better than if there's just sort of loosely on top of a light table with some air underneath. Um, if you've got, if you've used a light table before, you might know what I'm talking about with that. Um, definitely recommend this product. Um, and I'm like I said, this is not a sponsored video. This is just, I've used this enough to know that I like it. And if I had to recommend somebody a light table, I would recommend this one. Uh, I want to say it's about $65, $70. I'm not sure. I can put a link uh, below if I can find one. Like I said, I didn't buy this product, but somebody bought it for me. Um, so just kind of giving the review I have. So it is what it is, but uh, I hope that's helpful for you if you're looking at buying a light table or if you're interested in this particular model. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. And if you're interested in more stuff like this, more unboxings and reviews, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you prefer more vlog type or more tutorial stuff, let me know. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, so it's a big help. If you like this, hit that thumbs up button. It does make a difference. So, thank you.